Celebrities who insulted BTS for no reason. Recently, BTS made another history in the music industry with their latest single, Butter, as it reached 108.2 million views in 24 hours since its release. This makes the song the fastest music video in YouTube history to reach this milestone. Wow, it's unbelievable. Currently, BTS holds the first and second place on YouTube's all-time top 24-hour music debuts, wherein second place is another song, Dynamite. On top of this achievement, BTS is the first K-pop boy group and only so far to win the Billboard Music Awards, garnering nine Billboard Awards so far since 2017. Seriously, their group's hard work is paying off. They have collaborated with many international artists and celebrities as well. Big names in the industry, especially Hollywood. However, did you know that despite BTS's massive success over these years, they have still experienced insults from people, especially celebrities, for no reason? Yeah, it's true. And we will be sharing with you who these celebrities and their rudeness towards BTS. Olivia Rodrigo This American actress, singer, and songwriter has brought shades to BTS in her new advertising post. Her latest song released, Good For You, outstreamed BTS song Butter in the US in its first week. Well, actually, it's quite a shock for everyone. She got massive success in Spotify charts, and her song became even more popular. Her management and Olivia herself then decided to make a YouTube advertisement for her song, in which the advertisement is placed before many YouTube videos out there, and this includes BTS's music videos. Well, that's fine, really. But what angers the fans is the caption on her advertisement, saying, a song that tops the charts competing for the BTS. Uh, do they have to say it like that? I mean, it feels like a very unnecessary and very unprofessional way to advertise her song. A fan even commented, why did she feel the need to make this comparison? You can promote your song without needing to say that your song got more streams than BTS. Be polite and respectful to others. I 100% agree with what this fan is saying. I mean, go promote your song, but don't promote it that way, girl. There are a hundred ways to do that without putting shade on BTS. It's insulting. Be free. Back in 2013, when BTS just started out and they were not that famous yet, Suga and RM went to a show where the rapper named Be Free insulted them by calling them girls. Be Free said, is BTS music hip hop? Is wearing makeup like a girl on stage hip hop? I do not understand where this guy is coming from, but maybe he was sleeping when K-pop was born. Dude, you gotta come back on your senses. Wearing makeup does not make any man less manly. And seriously, a guy who does not wear makeup does not make him a man. Feel that. He even added, I'm sure BTS hasn't listened to our albums. We haven't listened to BTS's music either. I know it's not just me who thinks he is rude and very insulting to BTS. I mean, regardless of which profession we belong to, how high or low we are by status, popular or not, each of us doesn't have the right to insult other people. But this guy does not understand that. So when ARMY called him out for being rude, he responded, if you're thinking about what I said today for over 20 minutes, I sincerely recommend finding a boyfriend. Wow. Wow. This guy is something. Here are the plot twists, guys. Six years later, when BTS is now a global superstar, Be Free posted an apology. To BTS and their fans, I'm so sorry for all the emotional pain I've caused. Please forgive me. Wish me the best. And in Korean, he wrote, I'm incredibly sorry to BTS and BTS fans for my past actions. I thought I'd be able to say this face to face one day, but for now, I'll express my thoughts like this. See what happened? That's why you don't judge a book by its cover only. And recently, B-Free was arrested for physically assaulting the rapper King Chi Main. 
Seriously, something's wrong with this guy. Well, at least he apologized to BTS now. Next is Jason Derulo. BTS is known to be personality kings and humble as they always care a great deal about their fans and always express their gratitude for them for every milestone in their career. BTS always says the reason behind their success after all the hardships is their fans. Aw, aren't they the sweetest of all musicians out there? During the time when they knew they had set a historical record of Billboard Hot 100 chart number one, guess what they did? Bingo! Yes, they rushed to share the news with their fans and thanked them and the people who helped them. This way, they are being blessed more because they know how to act whenever they achieve success. Their reaction to Savage Love ranking first was no different. BTS collaborated with Jason Derulo for the song Savage Love, and when it became the top one song in the Billboard Hot 100 charts, BTS shared their gratitude and happiness with fans in a tweet. Thank you, ARMYs, for your continued love and support. However, Jason Derulo reacted to this in the exact opposite. The singer acted as if the milestone was solely his own achievement, although it was done together with BTS. Really? Yeah, really. He uploaded clips from his celebration parties on TikTok. In his video, you can see him celebrating and simply shouts, I got number one, without even mentioning or thanking BTS. In addition to this rudeness, in the post, he never tagged BTS or the composer, only the people close to him. Can someone tell this guy he's forgetting something? But oh, did he really forget or he really put it that way intentionally? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. The fans were outraged when they saw his post and even commented he would never have won number one if it wasn't for BTS. Seriously, this guy needs to be sprinkled with some humbleness. The fans were even more upset about his response when he was interviewed by Ellen DeGeneres on her show. Ellen asked Jason how he collaborated with BTS. He replied, I met them a few years ago. The members came up to me and told me they were my fans, but I didn't know who they were. He added, an American singer, a New Zealand composer, and a massive K-pop group ended up working together. Did you notice something in his words? He did not mention BTS at all. Is Jason Derulo looking down on BTS? With his actions that fans did not like, his song Savage Love was boycotted, and media agencies are reporting that the song Savage Love was falling further down the charts. Billboard even released a report that the purchases made by BTS fans were the reason behind Savage Love's big success. I wonder how Jason Derulo felt after that. I mean, how hard is it to express gratitude? It will cost you nothing. If we look back on the previous artists BTS collaborated with, names like Halsey, Lil Nas, Becky G, Max, and a lot more, they continuously shared their love for BTS. Another celebrity who insulted BTS is Achillo, OGZ. The rapper came under fire when some army dug up some old Facebook of his and found that he had dissed RM in the past. RM collaborated with him and dynamic duo's Geku before Anchilo commented that the song was ruined due to RM. The rap god meets the rap retard. How it'll be? I'm only gonna listen to Geku's verse. That is actually what Achilo said. Armies decided to message Achilo about this post, but the rapper didn't seem apologetic after all. Instead, he continued defending his post. So there you guys, there are some of the celebrities who insulted BTS. A little favor from me, please don't follow these people. I'm saying this in general. Remember, kindness is one of the many things we can give for free to other people. Just like BTS, we should also be humble no matter how high we reach in life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and leave a supportive message to BTS below. I'll see you in my next upload.